Today I want to share with you a really interesting application. This application is called Wiki and it's actually spelled W-I-K-E, at least I think it's probably meant to be pronounced Wiki. It is essentially a Wikipedia standalone application. It is a Wikipedia reader designed for the GNOME desktop. That is how the developers of this particular application describe it. It is a Wikipedia reader for the GNOME desktop environment, although technically you don't have to be on GNOME to use it. I'm not running GNOME. And honestly, the application looks and feels and runs just fine. I installed Wiki from the AUR, the Arch User Repository. Wiki is also packaged as a flat pack. You can find it over on Flathub. So you should have no problems getting this running on practically any Linux distribution. Now, this is a GTK4 application using libadwaita theming. And I got to say, it looks pretty sharp. Now, I don't really like this blinding white theme, and I know those of you watching the video right now are probably hating me showing the default theme. So let's go ahead and get into some of the theming. So this, that's, that's the sidebar button there, but this one right here, the little eye, you can go ahead and choose from the default white theme. Then you've got this yellowish theme or kind of beige colored theme. And then you've got your standard dark kind of theme. And this is what I'm going to continue with for the rest of the video. Now, one of the cool things about Wikipedia, the site, it's such a large site that has like 300 different languages available as far as uh, translations of the articles and things you can see. 6.6 .6 million articles are found in the English language, which is what we're looking at. But if you wanted to, you could go in here and filter the languages. You could change to any language you want. And of course, you've got the search bar here. So if I search for Linux, let's go to the Linux Wikipedia page. And that's kind of cool. Now you've got forward and backwards buttons here. So if I go back, I can do that. I can also hit the plus sign here for a new tab. And now I get this blank page here where I can search Wikipedia or I can just click and get the main page page back or if I wanted to I could have chosen to get a random page so let me open another tab and this time I'm going to choose the random article and the random article that comes up looks like waterfall furniture I've never heard of that but apparently it's art deco furniture now earlier when I accidentally hit the sidebar if I hit the sidebar on purpose this time you can see that any article that has headings you can quickly navigate using the headings. So if I want to go down to the references for this page, it'll take me to the bottom. Actually, this is not a very lengthy page, but for some pages in Wikipedia, you will have a very lengthy page. Let's go back to the Linux page because I know that one's quite large and you have a lot of headings here. So a lot of things we could click on, for example, market share and uptake. I could quickly navigate to that part of the page. Now I've currently got three tabs open. If you want to navigate the tabs with the keyboard, they do have key bindings. There's actually several key bindings available for this application. Control tab will cycle through the tab. So control tab would get me to the next tab. Control tab again will get me to the next tab. Control tab. If you wanted to go in the reverse direction, control shift tab. So control shift tab takes me back the other direction. If you want to get a list of all the available key bindings, do control shift slash. Control shift slash is really control plus the question mark, but the question mark is shift slash, right? So, and you can see here are all of the key bindings. Some of the more useful ones is navigating through the tabs and also cycling forward and backwards on the pages. So if I click forward, maybe I want to read the page about desktop computers. If I do alt and then the left arrow, I can go back. It says can't access Wikipedia. I guess it had a problem rendering that page for a second. I don't know if the internet cut out just for a second, but now if I do alt plus the left arrow, I'll go back. Alt plus the left arrow, I'll go back again. Alt right arrow, I'll go forward in the history. If I want a random article, I can do alt R for random and I get cool, cool tune, which is a music video game. Never heard of that one either. All kinds of things to discover on Wikipedia. Now you will notice that there is not a URL bar here inside Wiki. So you can't really copy the link to a particular page, at least not the traditional way where you go to the URL bar and copy it. But it does have that functionality in the menu here. If you go into the menu, copy link to clipboard. When I click on that, you can see link copied to clipboard. Now, if I open a proper web browser like the Brave browser here and I do a control V to paste, you can see it copied that that URL just fine. And that did have a key binding copy link to clipboard control U would have done the same thing. So if I hit control U on the keyboard, you can see once again, link copied 
to clipboard. Some other important functionality that I'm sure you're interested in is the ability to print a page. You do have in the menu system the print button. You also have a search text field here and of course control F your standard key binding for finding text also works. So control F and then you could search for anything such as I'll search for that field just because I knew it was there. SNK. I don't know what that is but there's how that works. One last thing I want to talk about is the little sidebar here. Now the sidebar does have a key binding. If I do control shift slash again you can see F9 opens the uh, sidebar. I kind of hate that that's <laughs> it uses a function key for that but I can do that. I can do F9 to get the sidebar. By default you're going to get your headers for the article right? So all the headers and subheaders so you can quickly navigate the article but if you wanted to you could also change language. So you've got the language tab here. You also have a bookmarks tab which I don't currently have any bookmarks added but I could add one and then of course you also have history and you can see I've got the history here. Uh, it looks like earlier today I was reading about Jerry Springer. I just learned that Jerry Springer passed away a couple of days ago. That actually kind of, that, that hurts my heart a little bit. Jerry Springer was a very important part of my life, especially, you know, I say about 20 years ago when his television show was really popular. He was a great man. I'm going to miss him. So that is just a little bit of what you can do with Wiki. Once again, control tab, I can go to the next tab. If I do control W, it will close that tab. Control W again will close that tab. And then of course you've got your main controls here to close out of the application. Now, is this an application that most people will use? Do most people need a dedicated Wikipedia reader? No. I actually do view Wikipedia a lot. I mean, everybody has to view Wikipedia as such an important website. It's one of the most important websites on the web, but most people don't live in it or use it to such an extent on a daily basis. They probably need a dedicated app for it, but many people do, especially people that often have to do a lot of research for writing and things like that. Having a dedicated Wikipedia app that actually looks and functions the way Wiki does, I'm actually really impressed with this application. So guys, check out Wiki again. It's available as a flat pack over on Flathub. Those of you running Arch or an Arch Linux based system, you'll find Wiki inside the AUR. Now before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the patrons. I need to thank the producers of this episode who are Gabe, James Maxim, the homies, Too Bald, Matt Mimmit, Mitchell, Paul Roll, Wes, Armor Dragon, Bash Potato Chuck, Commander Angry, George Lee, Marshall, Methos, Nate, Erion, Paul, Peace Artem, Dora, Polytech, Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, Tools Devler, Willie, and Zenibit. These guys, they're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this quick look at Wiki, the Wikipedia reader, it wouldn't have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon. I don't have any corporate sponsors. I depend on you guys for support. If you like my work and want to see more videos about Linux and free and open source software, subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace. Pretty soon we'll have web apps for every site, the ArchWiki, 4chan, the Hub.